Ladies and gentlemen, the competition part of the night is done. Put your hands together. The gentlemen now have done all they can. They're now relaxing. They get opportunity. So we're just gonna give Brother Mills an opportunity to formally greet everybody and a Brother Raban to formally do it as in your district post. So good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Mills, Ronald Anthony Mills. I live in Baltimore, Maryland in the continental US. And I just wanna add a comment that I appreciate programs like this, which is why I wanted to make sure that after Brother Rabane and I finished the program in Memphis, I came right here to Bermuda with him. And what I will share with you, the village that works with these young men, is just remember, it's all about relationship or it ain't about nothing. Everything us, the adults out here do today is for these young men's future. Everything they do is for the future of the children after them. So let's make sure that we give them all of the support that we can and we lift them up no matter how they place in this. Let's do our part to make sure we push them further. Glad to be here. Senator Rabin. Senator Rabin, before, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions if you don't mind. Sure. This weekend you were in Memphis, Tennessee, is that correct? Yes. Can you tell us a bit about the training that you did in Memphis, excuse me, in Memphis, Tennessee? <laughs> well, we were, we were in Memphis for an anti-hazing seminar that was conducted over three and a half days. What, what is hazing? Ha hazing is a form, uh, hazing is one thing that Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity is committed to is ending hazing within not only our organization but in all organizations. Hazing is something that when we bring people, when people come in, certain individuals are treated differently, they're, they're, they're made to feel that they're forced to do things that they shouldn't, they don't think they should be doing, but they still end up doing them. Part of this course, and it was interesting that you mentioned that, because I was mentioning to Brother Mills, the question that you asked immediately brought back some of the training that we got, and that is to take a problem, analyze it, pull out the data of what, where, and how it's happening, and then try and figure out what can we pull from the people that are experiencing that to get why we can th make things a little bit differently than what they are. So it was an intense course, um, 12 to 14 hour days that we spent uh, doing this course over the course of two and a half days, but it was well spent and we came away with quite a bit of um, techniques of identifying problems and how to analyze them and come up with solutions that can be workable for the problem. Thank you, Brother Rabin. Thank you to Brother Mills for coming to Bermuda. Ladies and gentlemen, the leadership of our organization. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's sit back and are you ready to see some stepping? Yeah. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, our bows in the stepping portion of our program. Yes. 
First responders are presently attending a situation that is unfolding as we speak at Ruth Seaton James. Early reports indicate that young men are there waving their hands, stomping their feet, and inciting a riot. We will give more details as the situation unfolds. Things are now live on the scene and what I can see, in fact, it was not anti-social behavior, but young men are stepping with the Bow Step Team. These are seven young men dedicated to service in their community and the stepping is a means and a way for them to work together as a team, show discipline, uplift each other and give back to their community. But it's time to keep it moving. These seven young men are an example to the community of what happens when you work hard, you're dedicated, and you stay committed. They are the best that Bermuda has to offer, and we expect great things from them in the future. To whom much is given, much is required.
1119. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of fun. They put a lot of time into that. The stepmaster was a former bow, our very own Omar Lodge. Where's Omar? Brother Lodge. Brother Lodge, can you come out really quickly, please? While he's coming up, we're going to ask. We're gonna, here he you, is. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Stepmaster Omar Lodge, thank you. He's also a Bow 2004. And a new alpha just joined the organization. <laughs> we're still working on finding exits, but you know. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're gonna ask for the representative from Digicel as well as Toastmasters International to come forward and make a presentation. Good evening, everyone, to the president of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity and the brothers of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. My name is Kimberly Keynes, Toastmaster, and this is my colleague, Ebony Frey. Last year was the first time that we got to partner with the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity to assist their bows in the public speaking and the impromptu questions. Toastmasters International is an organization that has a presence in 126 countries with over 300,000 members with various award levels that one can achieve in public speaking and leadership. There are a lot of synergies between our organization and the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. Week after week for six months, these young men have come to our meetings on a regular basis. They've participated in our agenda and at times beaten our members in the impromptu session and portion of our agenda. It has been a privilege to see them evolve and develop, and we know that our investment has played but a small part that will yield a great return, not only for them in the future, but for the future of our country. We, <laughs> this evening we were charged with a hard job, not as hard as the esteemed judging panel, but we were selected to choose the best speaker. So my colleague, Ebony, will announce those results, but provide some more information on why we feel public speaking is an important skill to have in one's professional and personal arsenal. Kim, good evening, everybody. Good Round of applause for all seven birds tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> having, having met the young men initially back in November and seeing their progress over the six months, I felt like a parent in the audience tonight. Not just their public speaking performance, which Kim did allude to, we are judging, but everything, the talent took me by storm. I had no idea that Taj Cox had it in him, that David Darrow had it in him, no idea, ladies and gentlemen. So I was just as smitten as you, but back to the matter at hand, we are here to judge the best speaker. It's often said that if people agree with everything you say, you're not saying anything relevant. So this is what we call an evaluation. It's an opinion-based thing. So you may not agree with me or we, we didn't agree initially, but we are here to present who we thought did the best job during the prepared speeches, as well as during the impromptu session that you just saw. I don't know what it is, ladies and gentlemen, but on Sunday when they came to me in joggers and jeans, I had no idea that tuxedos would turn these gentlemen into the great public speakers we saw this evening. So give them another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. But well, without further ado, we have to announce our winner and the one out of the seven that we selected tonight is none other than Bermuda Institute's representative, Darren Bennett. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deshay and I'm representing Digicel Bermuda. Uh, over the past couple of months, I was ch challenged with the task to uh, do the business etiquette training with the bows. I'm very proud of the bows this evening and um, I challenged the bows at the end of the session to prepare a 30 second uh, elevator pitch that they would present to myself and the directors of Digicel Bermuda. All of the Alpha Bows impressed tremendously. Uh, our CEO and Robin Seal, as well as our sales director and customer care director, Jakai Franks, uh, even offered to give the Bows jobs next summer. Um, <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, on behalf of Digicel Bermuda, the 2015 award recipient for the elevator pitch as a part of the business etiquette uh, training that we did give them, will receive a Samsung Galaxy S6. And the winner is from the Mount St. Agnes Academy, Alvin Mosley. <laughs> <laughs>